All right. Hey, Sagittarius, you guys. So I am doing a check-in for um, your love read. Should you wait? Okay. And you guys, if you don't resonate with all of this in its entirety, go ahead and check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope that you subscribe if you like my vibe. All right. I'm going to start with a parallel card. So this is what you're not seeing. You could be feeling this intuitively. It could just be something that kind of uh, shakes up your subconscious down the line a little bit. Okay. So let's see what's kind of happening underneath, underneath. Look at that. We got separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning and unsure at future. All right. Separation. So that's very clear right there, but um, it could be because of the separation, you know, that you haven't heard from this person, very little to no contact. You don't know how they're feeling about you. And I feel like this right here is going to be a confirmation for you guys that this person does hold you in their heart, even if it's kind of a, um, they've been behaving selfishly. Okay. That's kind of what I see with that card. Um, so if you have been thinking a lot about this person and you're wondering if they're missing you, um, just know that you guys are most likely holding the, the same energy. Okay. So let's just see what your current love energy is, how, how it is when you, how it, how your energy is when it comes to love. All right. Sagittarius. There's a lot of water energy coming through here. Look at that. Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces. You also got your Virgo energy right here. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say. You guys, as far as your love energy goes, um, as far as separation goes, what I'm going to tell you is this. Okay, it doesn't matter what you are, boy, girl, man, woman, whatever. I, I almost feel like so what's happening here is, um, you know, your love energy says we're going to close the chapter, all right, on this one. Okay, but it could be that this person does um, have a very special place in your heart. Okay, but the death card transformation, rebirth, moving on. You got your eight of cups walking away from the dynamic. Um, and it's almost like this. If this person is closed off, if they're not emotionally ready, available, mature, um, you know, if it, 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 anything that doesn't involve emotional manipulation, you know, that could be where um, you kind of sat with this person. So I really feel like what your love energy is saying about this connection um, that is coming through is that you need to walk away from it. And you know, Hey, it's not like you're trying to rush into anything, but you know what you need, you know what you deserve. And you want somebody who is that e in emotional alignment, you know? So if you're feeling sadness and you feel like you miss this person and you're thinking about them and you're yearning, um, you're, you, it's like this person still has given you no, um, no reason to even feel like that anymore. Right. And I feel like that's why, that is why you're kind of closing your, your feelings off. Um, and you're moving forward. Um, you know, if you can't give me what I need, I'm going to move forward. Um, I'm going to go find it somewhere else. And, and it's not at this point, it's like, I don't even have to go look for it. Right. But I'm not going to sit around and wait for somebody who is making me wait for them. Okay. I don't want to get all upset. Um, you know, I really connect with Sagittarius energy. I'm a Sagittarius cusp. Um, and I could already feel like my heart, my eyes are kind of, uh, yeah, they're start. It's yeah, the waterworks are, are sitting right behind just waiting for me to blink or say the wrong thing. Right. How do you feel about this person? How do you feel about this person? All right. They're everything. Look at that. As much as it hurts to walk away, they're everything to you. You don't want to walk away. All right. You want to talk. You want the communication. But it's like if they've closed themselves off, you're not going to put yourself in that mix. Right. You, look at that. I cannot help but feel like this is the person that's on your mind. But, you know, you got to leave it in the past. Um, you look at this person like they are your divine counterpart. There is no match. There is unmatched energy. All right. And it's like, I wait for the, the, I wait for the day they come back. I wait for the day they spark communication because this person has my entire heart space. Um, but what you're doing, I feel like what you're realizing, what you're um, doing is, is, you, you know, for your heart, for yourself, for the sake of you, you got to walk away from it. If it's just not doing anything but stunting your own growth, especially when it comes to how we look at ourselves when it comes to love, self-love, self-care, you know, uh, you could have been putting a lot off for this person in such a way that they've depleted that energy and you recognize um, that they, they're, they've done nothing but take it away from you, okay? Um, what caused this disconnection? What has caused this disconnection? All right, look at that. It could have been the offer of commitment, you know, if somebody is dealing with somebody else. Um, you know, it's like, you got your nine of swords, you got your world card. It's like something. So there's, there's a situation in the past. There could be a commitment in this person's energy where that this a karmic cycle is not over with yet. Okay. Um, this person doesn't know how to leave. They don't know how to escape. They don't, they're, they're, they like complacency. Um, 
I look at the Ace of Pentacles and I see commitment, okay? But what I see right here is an unhealthy dynamic, okay? Um, there could be a commitment or it could just be that this person is committing themselves to everything but you and this dynamic, all right? They can't make the move to bring themselves into the alignment of love, which you carry for them, right? Um, I don't see this as anything other than this person is setting other things, other people, places, and situations um, above this connection right here. Um, so let's just see how they feel about you. How do they feel about you? How is this person feeling about you? They see you moving on. They can feel your energy moving on for sure. Look at that. Uh, they, they do want to talk. They want to talk to you. All right. They, you probably open this person up in a lot of ways, especially when it comes to the limiting beliefs, um, the self-sabotage, the uh, closed off spirit. Um, you know what I mean? Um, oh, you're complacent. You're stagnant. You make a you're doing everything for everyone else and you're not following your, your true soul purpose. Right. Um, this person sees you moving away from that, away from them, keeping you stuck. Right. They see you um, as moving forward. Um you know, and I feel like, you know, the two of cups is recognition of the soul bond. Um, but it's also, um, <laughs> they understand the connection, but it's like, if I'm not, they're not making moves to change whatever it is that they got going on. Right. And that's what you recognize. That's what you see. That's why you're pushing away um, from this dynamic. So how have they treated you in this dynamic? How have they treated you? How has this person treated you? All right. Oh gosh. I, I kind of see that as holding space, but you know, conversely, I'm very, very selfish. All right. Um, I feel like the, you know, you probably ex experienced more moments of sadness, heartbreak, heartache, loss than anything else, you know, but it's like when you guys are together physically, this queen of cups is, um, the love, you know, that's compassion. It's care. It's sensitive. It's tender, you know? Um, but I, I feel like that's only there when you're, when you guys have been in each other's presence, uh, but when it's like the, the absence, um, the absence is, is very much deafening. And I feel like that's how they've kind of treated you. Um, so how are they, how are they feeling about you? How are they feeling about you? Yeah, very conflicted. They see you walking away. Look at, there we go again. They know they can feel that. Um, it's almost like I've left you hanging. Look at that. You got the, both of the divine masculine energy showing up right here. Um, this person, this person sees you as success, a leader. They see you as somebody who's very magical, very spiritual. You know, I feel like they look at you as, um, I shouldn't have done that to this person. I shouldn't have done that to Sagittarius. You know, um, I feel as far as they, they know that whatever happens with you at this point, you're going to create the life that you want. Um, they weren't able to give you stability. They weren't able to come in and, and stabilize and harmonize the energies right with you. So they, they very, it's like the, I'm not going to say that this person won't throw a pity party to themselves, but I do feel like they, they kind of recognize that, uh, um, it's almost like, I, I have to tell you guys this, I almost feel like the more you keep your energy away from this person, the more they're going to see what they've actually let go. Um, what, what does it mean to be afraid? Um, especially when it's, when it comes to your, the matters of the heart. And I understand the 3D aspects and the karmic relationships of breaking up families and this and that and the other, um, you know, and I'll just tell you guys a little personal story. Like I was in a situation with my ex who was pretty toxic um, and he became physical, um, physically um, abusive um, only one time, though, because I don't I don't stay for that shit. Um, and, and the first thing he says was, well, what about the kids? And I don't know if I've told Sagittarius this story, but I'm just like, oh, I'm not going to stay for the kids you know, well, they're not going to be happy. Well, they're going to see that I'm not happy if I stay and then they're not going to be happy anyway. So, you know, um, and I'm not saying that to you guys, I'm saying on behalf of this person, like, why, why wouldn't you kind of follow your heart? You know, um, that's, I don't understand that about situations, but I mean, it's something that I've learned to understand about myself, you know, and what I will and won't put up with. I mean, I feel like what you guys are, are dealing with right here is just somebody who's just very, very complacent and they don't really believe, um, they don't really believe in happiness or love the way that you do, but you have shown them in that, in, in a certain sense. Okay. So let's just see if there's going to be any changes to this connection. Come, come March. Is there any changes to this connection in March for Sagittarius? All right. So we got justice card coming through. 
We got the Ace of Swords. I feel like there is going to be communication, guys. Okay. We got the Nine of Pentacles. Um, but I, I also feel like there it's it's selfish. I feel like this person will try to reach out. I feel like there will be some contact. But I'm going to say this. I feel like they're still kind of playing the same game and the same angle. All right. So I'll tell you, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do because you have free will. But I will tell you, please use your intuition and see what this person's aim is before actually entertaining it. Because if they're not willing to make any changes... And they're coming through still taking advantage of you and your kindness and your spirit and your energy because they feel something. And, and that, that uh, medicine that you give them feeds them something or heals them in some way. Um, maybe think to yourself if this person actually deserves you to even entertain the conversation. All right. And if it's you guys that kind of um, take a step to, to make a move towards this person, maybe think about what position you're putting yourself in. Okay. Um, so what I see is I do see that there is... There is going to be some some contact or communication, but what does this entail? Like what, what is it? Look at that. The missed opportunity, the need to get laid, to, to fill a void, right? Look at that. It's player energy, you guys. So as far as this, this read goes, you know, should you wait for this person? I'm going to tell you, um, you don't have to because they are coming back. All right. But they're coming back under the same energy that they left you in beforehand. Um, so I, I'm just going to pull at this point and see what happens if you kind of let this go and you just kind of move into that direction where you were heading, you know, towards that King of Cups energy. What What is going on with that? I want to see what's happening with that King of Cups. Um, maybe not in March, but let's say March between March and April. What is that King of Cups all about? Is that going to come to fruition? Oh, look at that. Look at that, you guys. Look. It's almost like that. You make the choice to walk away from something that leaves you binded, that left your energy low, that left you in your head. You you make a choice to walk away from this and into that sunlight. Um, what you're going to see is a wish fulfillment. Okay. Um, I, I feel like you guys are actually going to see something beautiful unfold for you in the very near future, as long as you put yourself first. All right. Um, I'm just pulling a little bit more energies. Look at that. Don't. It's like, to me, gosh... I feel, and you know what, I'll say this, um, I, I'm going to say, I almost feel like we, we can't see the big picture because no human energies came through, but it's almost like the more you kind of put the work into yourself, the more you kind of look at the big picture, the more you start to release this, the more you tune into your own happiness, um, you're going to start to bridge the, that gap of feeling separated from somebody that, that is a soulmate. I feel like we're not going to have much more details on this until I do a couple of other reads and switch up the read type. Uh, but I also feel like what Spirit's going to show us as we move towards the end of March is that something more beautiful is going to come through depending on your um, level of healed based off this connection right here, okay? And it's not to say this won't come back through one day in a healed way, but I feel like you guys taking the step to move your, yourselves away from that energy is a good step, all right? Um, you got DZ coming through for initials, O, B, H, F. All right, Sag, I'm going to leave it there. You guys take care.